Storm in Paradise has a lot of questions still being asked by several Kenyans and uh, they are really, really wondering if Ruto is going to take our country to the next level. Speaking in an interview, Mr. Gola is coming up with a very serious story based on William Ruto's new CSS who were vetted in the parliament and was sworn in, took an oath in state house and started the work. And without wasting of time, Ogola is saying that no one is clean among William Ruto's new CSS. They are just the same as compared to the other CSS which were dissolved after the Gen Z had issued a pressure to His Excellency President Ruto. I have a video clip and I want you to listen to this video because that is what we want to discuss today before I conclude my political analysis. Let's watch this video. That the vetting system in Kenya that has vetted all thieves, like for example, if you go to Treasury, <laughs> no, since history, Parliament has vetted everybody who passed through it. Whether you are appointed as a PS, mm. as a CS, you have been the Inspector General, the Director of, of Public Prosecution, all those people have been through Parliament. Why is Kenya yeah. not clean? If the washing machine is not detecting the dirt, isn't it, mm. and can be able to sterilize it, uh, and give us the right product. Garbage in, garbage, garbage. out. <laughs> so when the garbage comes in, the garbage will have to come out. Yes. So that's what's happening. So Inspector General can be the same. The second Maybe point which I have... Maybe just to reinforce what you've said. Yeah. You've seen how the CSs who have stepped out, yes. you've seen the scandals back in. Yeah. yeah. Exactly what you're saying. So, yeah. Troll. To be taken by William Ruto's new CSs. And by the way, I also ask myself this question, that why will Ruto prefer to only select the ODM people as, uh, rather than to pick randomly even from the opposition, if he agreed to work with the opposition, which I'm not feeling any contradiction or any uh, discrimination on that move. Because Ruto is the president, he have that force, he have that power to choose to hire and fire. Anyway, let's forget about that and uh, discuss what Ogola is saying. But before I carry on, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your support in this platform. Because it, if it was not your support, then this YouTube platform could have not grown or reached to where it is as at now. Thank you for your subscription. Thank you for your opinion that you always drop at the comment section below. I try to read them, some positive, some negative, but we still sojourn because in this life, you must have a challenge. Every now and then, some of you trying to rectify me. Anyway, that is life. And if you are watching me for the first time, you've never mind to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I request you kindly take a one second and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you subscribe to this YouTube platform, any time we update to you such kind of a video, the video will automatically come into your YouTube platform. I will really appreciate you if you do so. Let's proceed with this discussion. Now, Ruto's new cabinet had, uh, had encouraged Kenyans that they are going to work for them fulfill their promises with their maid and even seal the loopholes of corruption in this country which is good that each and every person must uh, after have been given a chance you must speak up and tell Kenyans your firmness so Ogola in a discussion is saying that Ruto have not done anything new but he's, he's, he have just repeated the same mistake by appointing the same same people, the people who have worked for government for a long term, for several years, but they are still going to do the same thing which 
CSS, the, the former CSS who are dissolved did. And they have given an example in that interview. So when I try to compare someone like Joe, Joe have worked to the people at the coast, and uh, uh, with me, I'm just trying to give him a chance, because ndiyo wameanza kazi, na tuwapema muda tuwane kama wabadiliko itakuwa. Because if we keep on fighting and uh, still mounting pressure on, on, on His Excellency, that please, watoe hao pia, you know, you know, someone might become tired. Someone might become tired and said, indeed, you guys, you are now disturbing. Just give them time as Ruto, uh, President Ruto uh, agreed together with this deputy. Because uh, Vigadi Washago himself, the deputy president, have never even come out and uh, speak about this. About this. Because you know, Vigadi Washago is a man who will never keep quiet. Ukienda mbaya na kuambia, saayi Kenya ingewaka moto. But because... They, they trusted these people, and uh, if we compare our country where, where we are right now, if we will keep on creating attack and even talking negative this and that, uh, early judgment, we are going to uh, have a wrong direction among ourselves. That is what I can say. Well, let, let's give them time and work. They're only having some weeks, if I'm not wrong. Let, let's give them time. Work. And uh, I wish them all the best. That is what I can conclude. But to Ogola, you have said the truth as a gentleman. And that is his opinion. Every person has agenda, his own agenda. Whether you go to police SI un police service unit, they have all their own agenda. When you go to uh, presidential unit, presidential uni unit have its own agenda. The same way to the deputy presidential unit have its own agenda. The same way to Kenyans, uh, opinion of viewpoint. Each and every person have his own or her own agenda. But at the end of all this, I prefer that let us remain united and come up with a great solution on how we can take our country to the next level. We can analyze positive things and both negative things, but it can't bring any change. Do you, get, do you get the point? So that is what I am concerned with. Anyway, that is uh, what Ogola said in an interview. And I rest my case at that point. If you have any conclusion to put across, you can as well drop your opinion at the comment section below. Thank you. And let's hope to meet on another discussion.